Do you remember the Logitech mouse I've shown you in one of my previous videos? I'd like to continue this series and I'd love to show you another cool device. Logitech Craft Keyboard, which is dedicated for creators. So should be for us 3D artists, right? First of all, I love the design. It has minimal and clean look. It's extremely thin and I like how my wrists work with this. For me, it's really comfortable. I like the way the wheels works and the experience of typing on it. It works pretty well with both my sitting and standing desk setup. I really like these rounded edges that gives the extra touch to the design. In general, it's solid and built from quality materials. What's interesting, there are these three extra buttons, similar like in the mouse, that allow you to quickly switch between three different devices. It's really helpful, for example, when you work on both PC and notebook. Now let's talk about crown, this circular gel, because this is what actually makes this keyboard stand out from the competition. Basically, this wheel can control a lot of things in different programs and potentially can increase artists' productivity. Generally, it is dedicated to Adobe applications like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Lightroom and Premiere. There are prepared presets for these applications. But you can assign your own functions for different softwares as well. It will automatically switch depending on the program you're using. Additionally, it has a backlit option. Of course, it will take a lot from the battery life, but it can be really helpful in some cases. Plus, it's a quite fancy option. There is a special application, like with the mouse I've shown you in one of my previous videos. It will allow you to customize your experience. I've already had three Logitech devices connected. I choose the keyboard. You can customize different functions to some keyboard buttons. The ones that are highlighted. There are also some additional buttons here, like a calculator. I think it can be pretty handy to have a calculator function with just one click. The F and key allows you to expand the functionality of the Logitech mouse. So you can get additional options by customizing this button with the mouse. Now let's talk about crown. There are three different ways how you can use it. You can just turn it, you can press it, you can press and turn it. You are able to customize the wheel to different applications. As I mentioned before, Adobe software has functions already assigned. I'd like to give you an idea on how you can use it with different programs. Let's start from Photoshop. Let's say we have a brush to loan. You can, for example, change the size by turning the wheel. By pressing the wheel, you can switch between available options. It works pretty well and definitely makes it much quicker than traditionally choosing all these options one by one. Let's see what more this keyboard can do. If you are in the Move Tool mode, you can apply basic adjustments like Brightness, Contrast, Saturation and Blend mode. What I really like about this is that even if you edit this adjustment a couple of times, it won't create a new layer every time, so it keeps the file clean.
If you choose for example text, you'll be able to change the size by turning the crown. I'll show you a couple other options. These are some cool options here, aren't they? Let's see now how it can potentially work with 3ds Max. You can adjust this however you want. Lastly, we've been working quite a bit on animations, so I'd find it useful to apply dot and comma to be able to scroll through the timeline. You can see now that as I'm turning the crown, I'm moving the timeline button. That is awesome! I would apply a shortcut to play or stop animation. And to the last one, you can also apply whatever you want. It can't be as it is by default. So you can change the volume by pressing and turning the wheel. For Premiere Pro, the keyboard is customized by default. There are two options available here. I need to say that this is my favorite one. It's super handy to edit videos with this crown. You can see how easy it is to switch between the applications. The keyboard automatically adjusts to the program you're using. That's great! You can add other applications and customize functions. Here you can pair the keyboard with different devices. You can see that this keyboard is quite powerful. All in all, it's a beautiful keyboard and it can help you with speeding up the workflow, but it's quite expensive. It costs around $200. And I've seen another keyboard, Logitech MX, which is almost the same, but don't have this wheel and is twice cheaper. So the main questions to be asked should be if you want to pay extra for this wheel and if it can help you with your productivity. I feel I don't really need this wheel, as I already have the Logitech mouse that can do a lot of similar things. For me, it's more intuitive and faster to use wheels in mouse than in keyboard. But the choice is yours, and I think it's worth considering if you feel that it can help drastically with your productivity. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!